This video is sponsored by Blinkist. When you're a little kid, you have all of these dreams and aspirations. However, you do not rush to achieve them since you're still a little kid. You have to grow up first. You still have to complete your school, then go to college, graduate, and then maybe you might consider pursuing them. But some kids decide to take another path and launch their business ideas while they are still teenagers. Take an example of Nick Deloisio. He's no longer a teenager, but he hit a million dollar benchmark back when he was still 16 years old. Nick has developed a couple of really basic apps back when he was much younger, but his first truly successful app was Sumly. Initially back in March of 2014, the app was finally ready to be launched. However, it was named Trim It Then. The idea behind it was simple. It used an algorithm to condense texts such as emails and blog posts into summary of 1,500 or even 140 character text. With 100,000 downloads, the app was featured on the App Store. Shortly afterwards, Trimit attracted the attention of business magnates such as Li Ka-shing, who provided 16-year-old Delosio with a $300,000 in venture capital investment. After gathering some feedback, Delosio redesigned the app completely and renamed it into Sumly in December of 2011. Sumly aimed to solve pursued problems with the way news articles are presented on smartphones. With the initial version of Sumly being downloaded by over 200,000 users, he hired a team including a scientist who specialized in natural language processing to improve the app. With corporate support in November of 2012, Delosio received a million dollar in new venture funding from celebrities. In March 2013, Delosio sold Sumly to Yahoo for approximately $30 million, and he didn't even hit 18 at that time and joined Yahoo as a product manager. The second millionaire on this list is Robert Ney, who also has built his way to becoming a millionaire in a very similar way. Back when he was still a little teenager, he started working on a simple physics puzzle game, Bubble Ball. It's a 156 level puzzle game with puzzles ranging from very simple to really challenging. In December of 2010, the game was ready, so Robert launched it and he was only back then 14 years old. The expectations were in high since it was a really simple game and Robert wasn't an expert in this field but sometimes that's how the best ideas come to life. In its first two weeks, the game did better than anyone would have predicted. It generated 2 million downloads from the App Store alone in such a short period of time, which is phenomenal. The app started getting more and more attention quickly, surpassing 16 million downloads. And at one point, it displayed Angry Birds from its number one spot on the list of free games in the App Store. The third on our list has surpassed everyone else. He started a little bit later. He was 14 when he launched bizchair.com. It wasn't the best period to start an online business since the dot-com bubble crashed in 2001 and literally hundreds of companies went out of business. However, Sean believed in this idea and was confident it's going to work. At the end of the day, he literally had nothing to lose except the $500,000 his stepdad decided to invest in his company. He was just 14 and his entire life was still ahead of him. Even if it failed miserably, he would still gain the experience at least of losing $500,000. But that's not what happened. The business took off like a rocket. What started as a little business from bedroom moved to a 40,000 square foot facility by 2004 earning millions of dollars along the way and making its founder a multi-millionaire by the age of 17. In fact, bizchair.com reported $13.6 million in sales in 2005. In 2006, sales rose to $24 million. In 2007, total revenue was $37.5 million and the next year he reached $42 million in revenue. Our next hero is Fraser Doherty, or Jam Boy as he is known. He started making sugar-free jam based on his grandmother's recipe and began selling them on a tiny scale to his neighbors and local shops. But his ambitions didn't stop there. He wanted to grow and sell his jam all across the country. So he convinced his dad to take him to Waitrose and pitched his idea to them. 
At first, they refused since labeling and pricings were wrong. However, he did not give up. After multiple attempts, he eventually got it right and they agreed to put it on their shelves all over the UK. The jam went to become so popular that it stuck in big chains such as Tesco, Sainsbury, Morrison and his business was turning over a million pounds a year, making him eventually a teen millionaire. Next on our list is Ashley Coles, who started whatever.com as a hobby back when she was just 14. The website was designed to provide free MySpace layouts and HTML tutorials for people in her age demographic and supported entirely by advertising revenue. She used the basement of her home as her office, employing her mother and friends from school. She made $70,000 in the first month, but that was just the beginning because she had earned over a million dollars by the age of 17, making her a teenage millionaire. She received multiple offers to acquire her company, but Coles has turned them down including an offer of $1.5 million and her choice of any car. That's a weird option. I mean, if she would choose Austin Martin, Falkyrie, the car is going to be more expensive than the amount they are offering for her website. Shouldn't you just add that amount to the deal you are making? And that's about it? Seems like it was a failed attempt to win over a teenager. Gladly, she did not accept the deal, because the number of visitors kept growing through the roof. In 2007, her website had over 7 million unique visitors a month and generated millions of dollars along the way. When Catherine and David moved to New Jersey and were enrolled in their new school, they looked through the yearbook and realized that it was a terrible tool for meeting people. Dave showed his sister a picture of a girl he wanted to date. But through that yearbook, there was no way to meet that girl and that's when Meet Me was born. They simply decided to make an online yearbook and add a tool through which members could meet each other. However, they did not have the tools, neither they had the skills to turn their idea into a reality. So they hired a development team from India. In the first week, 400 people joined and slowly it started taking off once other schools began to join. In just under a year, the number of users grew to a million. The teens were already making millions of dollars, but the biggest boom came when they received an offer from Quipesa to purchase Meet Me for $100 million, $18 million in cash and $82 million in stock. The number of people who earned millions of dollars while still being teens is way longer than this video could possibly cover, but you got the idea. It doesn't really matter how young are you, if you have an idea that truly inspires you or it seems like a possible business idea that could work out, it very well might deserve a shot. And if you're still a teen, you will have way less to lose than when you grow up and have more responsibilities on your shoulder. I can tell you that from my own experience. But most of you are adults and there is no way to turn the time back, however, the message is it doesn't really matter how old or how young are you. It's about you and your dedication. But before you start a business, you want some assurance that your business idea is going to work. You don't want to simply spend an enormous amount of time and money to start a business and find out that you are digging in the wrong place. It's true that with the rise of internet, opportunities are just endless. But the book Will It Fly by Pat Flynn will teach you how to test your idea before you go all in and find out that it was all a mistake. The great thing about it is that if it turns out a mistake, you can move on and start your next venture without wasting so much time and money. Of course, time is limited and you might not have the time to read the book cover to cover. That's why you need someone who would summarize the entire book and share with you the best and most important insights. That's when Blinkist comes into the picture. It takes the best insights from thousands upon thousands of non-fiction books and summarizes them into a 15-minute read or listen for a half of a price of a book. In today's age, it's difficult to sit down and learn since we are surrounded by so many distractions and social media is just wasting hours upon hours of our time and you need Blinkist to get the best ideas from the greatest non-fiction books. The first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Proactive Thinker are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. 
you will also get 25% off if you want the full membership. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it so that the next video will appear right in your homepage. Thanks for watching and until next time.